What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to make a video on prepping a car and pre-taping certain areas of the car before you vinyl wrap. Very simple, very easy to do. You want to go ahead and inspect the whole entire car or let's say a panel that you're going to wrap. In this case, we're going to show the fender as being an example. I'm going to show you what you need to mask off to increase your efficiency in wrapping and also to prevent damaging and cutting anything. Let's go ahead and get into it and uh, let's start wrapping this fender. Okay, so before we start wrapping any panel, you wanna look at it and see what's gonna cause the most problems when it comes to laying the vinyl down, tucking the vinyl, and trimming. So in this case, you can see we have some obstructions right away. There's gonna be the bumper here in the way, there's gonna be the headlight in the way, as well as the hood, badges, and also back there where the uh, A-pillar meets the fender. All of that needs to come into account when it comes to wrapping a car. If you're in a situation where you don't want to take anything off the car because you're scared to break a bolt, a plastic uh, tab off a headlight or whatever, um, you gotta do extra prepping to get it just how you want it so that it's easier for you to wrap. So you have choices to do, use masking tape. In some cases you don't even have to use masking tape. So for example, for the hood here, you don't even have to tape the hood. Taping isn't necessary, but it definitely improves the process of wrapping because vinyl wrap, when you apply it dry, it's gonna have a lot of tack. So if it tacks to another piece of the car um, that's already wrapped, like let's say the hood was wrapped first, then you wrap the fender. If the vinyl sticks onto this and you go to reposition or pull back, it can cause damage to that vinyl as well. And in some cases, you know, when it sticks so hard onto that the other panel you go to reposition it can cause you to pull too hard and put too much uh, force on the vinyl that you can either tear it overstretch it or damage it so in that case you know you want to avoid that by taping the offset panels of what you're wrapping so in this case if we're going to wrap this fender you want to go ahead and get rid of any obstruction as possible you can remove the wheels if you like but in that case you don't really need to i just went ahead and popped the hood you already have all of this surface area to work with and you're good um, places like the headlight down here, you're going to want to just tape it off with some masking tape so that when you go lay the vinyl, it doesn't stick to the headlight as easily since the masking tape has a, a lower surface tension than would be the plastic. I always recommend if you're using a skinny piece of tape to double it up um, from, you know, side by side and then double up on top. You can use a bigger roll of tape. I just don't have it on me right now. But that is one way to start off your prep work before you uh, vinyl wrap. And you could also go ahead and prep the uh, badge as well, tape around there and cover it up. Next thing you want to do is to find an older squeegee um, that you don't use as much um, and get a microfiber towel. So you're going to wrap the microfiber towel on the edge, the hard edge, like that. And this is going to really help when it comes to prepping uh, a car. What I like to use and what most people like to use is IPA alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. Some people recommend 90%, some people recommend 70. I like to use 70. Sometimes I would dilute it with a little bit of water just to get more out of it. The way I see it, if it's slightly diluted like this, I will just let it dry for like 10 minutes before I even touch it. Because you know, now that it's diluted with water, water takes a little longer to evaporate than the alcohol itself. So now, as you can see, it's already damp. We're gonna go ahead and clean the inner edges of the fender before we do anything. All right, when it comes to prepping, you wanna go ahead and have this edge somewhat completely soaked with the alcohol. Uh, you can start from the outside and bring it in from the middle out if you like. Just to clean that edge out. As you can see right here it's already picking up some dirt. Clean that up real nice. Sometimes after I do a couple passes and I know it's dirty I just bring it down about an inch okay to another wet spot and then repeat the process. Pushing up against the edge of the fender here. All right, just to make sure all that's clean. And also you can push against the bottom of the fender, which is the bumper, just to get any dirt out of that. I'm gonna go ahead and wet it again. Go ahead and just clean that edge real nice. Being super generous. This is the dirty side, as you can see, I'm gonna flip it to the clean side. Spray some alcohol around the whole entire panel and just wipe it clean. See, there's a lot of dirt under there and grease and grime. Just 
Just keep doing it until it's clean. So it's getting there. And you repeat the process with the rest of the car. Now I know in some cases, you don't want to take the rims off and you have, let's say, aftermarket rims that sit flush with the fender. I would recommend taking the wheels off, putting the car on jack stands. It's just a lot better. You reduce the contamination. If you're at home in your garage like me, I would just do it one wheel at a time. So just jack up the passenger side, take the wheel off, clean everything, wrap that fender, put the wheel back on, lower it, go on to the next, and just repeat the process around the whole car. But you definitely want to do that when it comes to prep work. Another huge issue that people oversee are the rubber seals that are inside of the hood and the engine bay compartment this collects a lot of dirt you'd be surprised how much dirt is collected on this channel right here even if you clean the surface area out you need to pull it back some okay just a little bit and clean inside there as well as we speak I'm looking down here I can see a ton of dirt and dust from over the past year after I wrapped the car best thing I would say if you're willing to actually go the extra mile I would just remove these panels completely completely clean the inside of the channel and then just wrap it, run a knifeless tape, and you know, clean up the vinyl, or you can wrap deep into it if you like. I know everyone wants to save time and money, but it's also important to do a quality cleanup job and prep work prior to wrapping a car. Make sure everything is completely clean and thoroughly clean. Another thing that's usually missed when it comes to prepping and cleaning the car prior to wrapping, people tend to miss the inner channels and inner edges of fenders, doors, bumpers and things like that this is where vinyl starts to peel back if you're gonna go ahead and go do all that and forget this forget about it you might as well throw the vinyl away because it's just gonna peel back over time because of how dirty this actual edge is I would recommend using a clay bar getting in that edge and just clean it up real nice then clean up real nice with alcohol this I find a lot of problems when it comes to vinyl wrapping if people don't prep this edge uh, well enough so I hope you guys learned a little bit about something when it comes to prep work and masking off parts of the car before wrapping. Doing those extra five to 10 minutes of prep work really makes the difference when it comes to your quality of work, the efficiency, and also the stress levels that you get from wrapping a car. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit the like button, hope you subscribe, and leave a comment if you learned something today. And definitely, this is a good practice for those of you who want to vine a wrap at home or even on a professional level. Never miss an inch of the car. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.